when these guys knocking down shots. Um, you know, um, it's like a pride thing when the, when your man scores, whether you supposed to be in the gap or not, you don't want him to keep scoring. So if these guys hit shots, I mean, the gap's going to get more open and more open and more open. And um, late in that fourth, because Cat and Jaden was knocking them down, I was able to just get anywhere I wanted. And whether I miss it or make it, I can live with that. And um, I haven't been doing that the last three games of, of, of this series. I've been going to the corner and not shooting the ball and not being aggressive. And, um, yeah, that won't happen anymore. Anytime late in the fourth, I'm going to shoot it every time. Prior to game two, you, you mentioned you wanted to get back to the joy of the game of basketball. Do you feel like these last two games you've been able to do that? Uh, I feel like last game I did it early, and then um, as the game, the game um, kept going. My uh, my emotions, I mean the the emotional part of the game. I just my joy started to you know fall away. Um, I think tonight the entire game I didn't let anything bother me. My joy was there the entire time. And um, big shout out to my college coach, man. He always takes me, um, Coach Cream, and tell me, uh, man, play with joy. That's when you're playing at your best. And um, he he made sure he takes me that before the game at halftime today with the college coach, how much of your foundation in your hometown and just your family do you take on the court with you every night? Uh, every night, man. That's why I play with so much joy. Um, anytime I'm around my family, we have a good time. Always, uh, it's never a dull moment. Um, laughing, joking, you know, all type of things like that. Even with my teammates, man, we always having a great time. So, you know, I, we just try to carry that over to the court.